Watch this. See how it... Can you see it? Uh-huh. Okay. So what is it? What are we looking at? Okay, so... Uh, a couple weeks before we left on this trip, somebody sent this jeweled caddis fly um, uh, cocoon um, video. And these guys make homes out of either sand grains, or in this case, this guy, which is the larval form of a fly, made it out of bark, which is this one. Now, if you saw this on a rock, would you think it was a home? No, but it looked about right and it was stuck. So I took it, put it in a bow, and about four hours later, this guy came out. Can you see it's it? It's like a hole. Look at that hole. Can you see it? So that's its old cocoon, kind of? Mm-hmm. Whoa. And there, it's carnivore. Ooh, it's eating that other limpet. Or, or I don't know what it is, a isopod. Yeah, it looks like an isopod. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that guy went squished in there. So how do caddisflies work? Um, they make a home so that the fish don't they're nice, soft, juicy. It does not look like fish would love to eat it. <laughs> but if it has this big, um, hard bark on it, it keeps it from being eaten so easily. But actually, the one I was most interested in was this guy. Now, this one is a um, stonefly, and it makes its house out of sand grains. And uh, Q said, why would you even pick that up? It's something to see. <laughs> and then when you look at the structure of its home, well, I have to turn it off. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Oh, it's going to take me a while. Oh, no problem. Uh, you can clip on that other one. Look at that. That is this. Let's see if we can get some more light. Mm -hmm. And then when I shine the fiber optic light that uh, Shiva really loved, look at the light comes out of the sand grains. Cool. Gorgeous. Anyway, I'm very interested in how animals make these homes to protect themselves, just like we use our homes. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>